Mini Toon has spilled the beans, everyone. He has revealed the true nature of Five Nights at Freddy's, but with Piggy, Mini Toon has practically confirmed the ending of Piggy in just one tweet. Are we blind? Deploy the theories. No! I don't even know if he's realized it, but we can use our Jimmy Neutron Einstein genius brains to extrapolate literally nine chapters in advance what the ending of Piggy Book 2 is going to entail. Now, spoilers, everyone, for the very end of Piggy 2. So this all relates to a cryptic tweet that Minitoon made a day ago, where he says, Ahoy, everyone! No one in Piggy is inherently safe. However, no one in Piggy is doomed either. I wonder where we are headed now. So your average, typical Piggy player with the winning smile face would assume that's implying that no one in Piggy is safe. Anyone could become infected at any point. Pony, Willow Wolf, Mr. P, Zizzy. <laughs> and then in a reply to Hannah, who asks literally no one, he says people could argue that the player is always safe, but they must have forgotten about all the times that they may have gotten oofed. <laughs> Zero for me. What are you talking about, Minitoon? But that's what the winning smile average noob would believe. And they'd be completely correct, because that's what I believe too. It's obviously what the statement's going to imply. Oh, what did you think? Does some apparent genius theorize that Minitoon means us in real life and that we're not safe? Is Minitoon coming for all of us? No, 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 but it's the second part that I think everybody glosses over, where he says no one in Piggy is doomed either. Now, what does he mean by that? No one in Piggy is doomed, but what about the infected? Wouldn't you assume they'd be doomed? Doomed? Are you telling us that there is a chance for the infected Minitoon? Well, we actually get another hint later on in the Twitter thread where Minitoon continues by saying also to clarify on something I said earlier, when I said chapter three was my favorite chapter, I meant the gameplay itself, not the cutscene. My favorite cutscenes are coming up ahead in later chapters and I'm sure you'll love them too. Ant Antics replies with sorry, should have made that more clear myself. And Minitoon says, no worries. I've just been getting a lot of messages from people calling me heartless. And I'm like, wait, no, 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 I should have been more specific. Which is stupid anyway, because Minitoon could still say that's his favorite chapter. He could still say it's his favorite cutscene if he wanted. Just because he said it's his favorite, it doesn't mean Minitoon's sitting there with a bunch of popcorn laughing his head off as Zizzy shows the scratch to Pony. He can enjoy it for the beauty or the emotion as well. But then Minitoon points out, thank you for your kind words, though you called it a death. Is it really one? And this is the evidence right there, everybody. This is it. This is what we've been theorizing ever since my first theory video. No one in Piggy is truly gone. No one in Piggy is truly doomed. And the explanation from this goes back a long time ago, back centuries and centuries, all the way to chapter five, the school, with the chalkboard that started everything on this YouTube channel. The chalkboard that says, I feel everything I do. I can't control my actions. I can't help myself. My mind yells for help, but my body does not agree. I wish the world would understand. Which apparently everyone's forgotten. As this implies, and what I've been saying this entire time, ever since Piggy chapter five, the piggies are still alive in there. The characters are still in there. Their brains are still working. They know what they're doing. Doggy would be able to see what he was doing, but he just wouldn't be able to control what he was doing. He knows what's going on and so will Zizzy. So is Bunny, I assume, unless Bunny got hit by like a train in the Metro. And you know what? That actually does make me feel pretty bad when we shoot the infected in game. And that also fits in line with Minitoon saying, no one in Piggy is doomed. Which is also interesting, by the way, how he says no one in Piggy is doomed. He doesn't say almost no one. So that could technically disprove a lot of the death theories, like Bunny actually died in the Metro, she didn't turn infected. But Night Fox brings up a good point about this that I'm sure plenty of you will be yelling about, where he says, I'm not going down that rabbit hole again. You said the same thing with Bunny, and her ghost butt was trapping me up and down in chapter 12. That's a good point, Night Fox. If they were still alive, then how come we could see the ghosts of Bunny, of Doggy? Were there any other ghosts? Well, there's actually a pretty easy answer to that, but that also does bring up a couple more questions, which is, they're just memories. Remember, Piggy Book 1, a big theme towards the end was all about memories. We had an event called Distorted Memory about George Pig remembering when Penny got infected or having a nightmare.
nightmare. Then Mr. P starts talking about seeing things. And finally, that really weird trippy second half of plan where everything suddenly goes crazy after the TNT is used. Now that requires a whole nother theory of its own, but basically if you think about it, we all know the second half literally cannot possibly take place in real life. It's not like the plant was somehow immediately connected to the forest and part of carnival and all that. No, this was obviously taking place in either our heads or Mr. P heads. It could be all going on in Mr. P's head because it stops when we get him the picture of his wife and that's when he regains his senses and that would make sense and we've got like maps like the carnival, forest and school, all of which Mr. P were in. Or it could be in our heads because it has Metro, which was a map that Mr. P was never in. And we had the shadowy memory figures of Doggy who Mr. P wouldn't really associate with, right? But the key thing is that second part of Plant wasn't actually real. And so therefore we can assume that those weren't actually ghosts. They were just memories. Another theory that actually also explains Bunny's shadow being in the outpost is that we're actually infected and we're starting to see things as well, but who knows? And of course it's all amazing news, but what really gives me confidence is that Minitoon is making sure that we know they're not dead. I think he's planting the seeds, getting us ready for when he introduces the possibility to bring them back. Obviously he wouldn't be saying that and then just leaving it at that and we hear no mention of anything again and then they're gone forever and everything. No, there's gonna be hope there everyone. And once again, remember the trailer of Piggy Book 2 at the very end with that delicious blue liquid? And the main MacGuffin, yes that's an English term, that's motivating us on the search and motivating us to continue throughout all these chapters? That's right. The cure. Crying and giving up isn't going to bring Doggy, Bunny, and Zizzy back. No, we need to push forward. We need to search for that cure, baby. You guys clicked on this video to hear the ending of Piggy 2? Well, I think everyone's gonna be cured. Maybe save for the bad guy. And everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. I hope that provided the comfort you needed for the end of Zizzy. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye! Bye.